It was kind of the Kaepernick before Kaepernick. We're all aware of Colin Kaepernick and his fight to bring light to America's treatment of black people by refusing to stand for the national anthem. He peacefully gave voice to a problem that has plagued the black community for centuries. By kneeling, he was standing up to a preconceived notion that we all must fall in line. And by doing so, he was blackballed by the NFL and never allowed to play again. But he was not the first. Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, previously known as Chris Jackson, played for the Denver Nuggets. Due to his religion, he too took a stance against the national anthem. And the NBA warned him, then demoted him, then they too blackballed him. Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, a devout Muslim and the Denver Nuggets leading scorer, has been suspended by the NBA for refusing to stand during the playing of the national anthem which he sees as a symbol of tyranny. This is not Nazi Germany. America stands for freedom of speech and freedom from religious persecution. But the NBA, especially when it came to Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, did not do so. The showdown lasted one game. Abdul Raouf says that after seeking guidance from other Muslims, he found a compromise solution, to stand and pray during the anthem. Though he led the team in scoring and assists, the Nuggets traded Abdul Raouf to Sacramento after the season. They ousted a basketball player. They ousted a man because of his religious beliefs. And the NBA has yet to come forward to admit as much. And they have yet to apologize to the man whose life they helped destroy. Mahmoud went from being the top player in the NBA to being out of the NBA in a few short years because of one decision he made. And that decision was to remain true to his faith. Mahmoud Abdul Wolf had the courage to withstand someone taking their livelihood away from them. That is wrong. And the NBA, at the very least, owes him an apology. Because if they can do this to him for his beliefs, they can do it to anyone for theirs. It's my religious belief.